Hi friends, in this video, I will be showing you how we can use data validation uh, in a more complex way. So this would be a session where you'll understand use of data validation, advanced data validation, I would say. So let's go to the get, let's go to an example to understand this. So as you can see the data, uh, I have a data in which the first column is empty. Now I need to configure this column in a way where which states employee code. So I need to give employee code to the salesman and the employee code, I have a condition over here how my employee code should be. So I have a condition that my employer code should start with E only and uh, it should be five digit number like including that E, it should be the length of the employee code should be uh, five not more than that it should be exactly five five digit employee code so how we can do this uh, before we do this so we need to put a restriction in this cell so if, if anyone tries to put a different employee code other than starting from e it should not accept it so how we can do this so now i'll explain you how we can do this to data validation we'll have to use some formulas for that so in this we need we have two conditions first condition is that my employee code should start with e and the second condition is uh, the total the length of the employee code should be five so i am going to use these two formulas so length and left this are the two formulas i am going to use it so what would length do is length would give me allow me to put a restriction on the the formula of length would allow me to put the restriction on the number of length of the employee code as you can see if i applied length over here it gives me the, the length of that number or digit whatever the text is there in the cell same way i have a formula in excel which goes like left 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 this gives me helps me to read any of the number in the cell which counts from left so i have selected this cell and i if i give a so i the first syntax is text and then i need to uh, select the number of character so from left it will read the number of character so i want one if i put so it should give me six so this is giving me six so these are the formula which i'll use in data validation to configure this and as I have two conditions which should be uh, satisfied at one time, I am going to use AND for that. So is equal to AND and these two formulas would help me to put such restrictions in my data in this in, in such scenarios. So let's see how we can do this. So the first thing is we need to select the range. Okay, then I'll go to data over here data validation and i'll use an option of custom any formula if you need to put you need to select custom over here as i said i would be using and as there are two conditions then first you could use anything you could use left or you could use length it doesn't matter so first i'll use left I'll open the bracket left as this cell should so first character should be equal to E as I want my employee code to start with E comma the next would be length and the length of this text in this in that cell should be equal to 5 so i am putting equal to means it would not allow less than or more than it would allow only exact five digit number and then i'll have to close the bracket and click ok let's check whether it's working or not so i'll just try to put a code e one two three four this is a five digit number including e as i said so this is accepting let's try to put one two three four five this should not be set give me, me a warning that you cannot put there is some restriction in this cell so this is how you can use data validation if 
I put any other letter and I put one, two, three, four, this would have accepted. So both my conditions are being satisfied with the following formula that we use. So this is how you can use uh, data validation in a complex way. So I hope this video would help you guys. Thank you.